Hey everyone, imagine I have a couple elements and they all have an attribute. In this case, it's data product ID attribute. In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between JSON adder method and getting and setting attribute using plain dumb element methods. So first of all, let's confirm that we have three elements. We get li elements and we can say should have length three. Okay, so we confirmed it. Now, if you invoke jQuery method other, what happens? So let's use sci invoke other, and the name of the attribute is data product ID. Now, all of them, all three, each one has a different value. So, what is the value returned right here? Well, it's the value of the attribute of the first element. So we can verify this by saying should equal and the first element has value a 11. Okay. So when you invoke author on jQuery object, even if there are multiple elements, it returns the attribute from the very first element and that's it. So how do you get the data product ID from each element? Well, for this, you can write your own code or use my Cypress map plugin. So what you want to do, you want to invoke, but not the jQuery method, but a plain DOM element method. So you can use map invoke, which comes from Cypress map and say, get attribute, which is JavaScript DOM method, pass the name of the attribute, and it will map each element by calling it, you know, get attribute. And in this case, it should equal to what you see b20 and c11 okay so three elements invoke getter attribute on each one have three strings now what's interesting about jquery is that if you invoke author with an attribute value so in this case data product id is the name of an attribute and let's say x11 it will actually set that attribute on each element. So after you get it, then each one will have x11, x11, x11. Okay. So there is a difference between jQuery author set and get, but you can also just call the native get attribute on each element, especially if you use my Cypress map plugin. One other thing that you can do, when you invoke jQuery method, you can pass a callback just like this. And what it gets, it gets two arguments. It gets the index 0, 1, 2 in this case, and the current value of an attribute a11, b20, and so on. So you can return the new value. So for example, you can say uh, get the index plus 1, so it starts 1, 2, 3 you know, maybe the current value. Okay. And if you do that, you will get and the current value three and the current value C 11. What did I mess it up? Uh, okay. Let's see the values, right? So open the dev tools, click on the assertion. What are these long strings? One second. Let's split it up just so we can debug this better because I think because it retries and retries, it actually gets confused right here. So let's see right now. Okay. Never mind. We just needed to separate setting it and changing it from querying it. One of the you know, kind of downsides of querying in Cypress version 12, they moved Cy invoke to being a query command. And I wish they didn't. I wish I could specify something like retry true by default or false in this case, because I don't want to retry this because it keeps changing that uh, method value, calling it again and again if assertion doesn't pass right away. Anyway, find this example and many more recipes at Maglia Bakhmutov Cypress Examples website.